everybody, this is Jennifer from Fertilum, and this is a video on Lane's Halloween costume for this year. She was the Black Swan. Um, I based this particular design from the Natalie Portman movie, and I just decided to tackle this project because Lane started ballet this year, and I wanted to challenge myself and try to make a classical tutu. Even though this isn't exactly a dancing on point tutu, um, because she didn't need to move in and it is a four-year-old's Halloween costume, I kind of did a lot of research on the basics of creating a tutu and peony. So I drafted the pattern there, and for those of you who saw on Instagram the little napkin panties I used, that was just me um, testing the pattern that I made out of a napkin just to see the fit there. I ended up going with a stretch taffeta and lining it with a swimsuit nude um, lining. And then those colorful lines there that I stitched are just basically the placement lines for my gathered net and tool. And I ended up using about 10 yards of gathered net and tool in varying, you know, graduating widths. It actually ended up being quite the challenge. They call it wrestling the alligator, and that's very much what it's like. Um, and then once you've got them all sewn on and gathered, you have to um, basically tack all the layers together by hand. But as you see, the final result ends up standing out straight um, in like a classical tutu style or what they call a pancake tutu. So Lane was pretty happy with it, and I was obviously very happy with it as well. So once I got that done, I got to embellish it. And a lot of this detail was lost in the pictures I posted. So I wanted to just show you up close. It had a lot of um, different type of feather accents, and you can see inside all the stitching there. The colorful lines were on the outside, but those were covered up by the net and the tool, and then the inside there is the black stitching and the nude color lining. The leg openings and the waistband were elasticized, and then it closes up with black hooks at the back there. And then I went in with different varying um, sizes and finishes of rhinestones and feathers and some glitter, and that's the underside. As you see, it needs a good steaming. This was after Halloween, so it's kind of a bit wrinkled. Um, but you can see that the smallest layer of gathered net is closest to the leg openings, and then they get longer as they go out, and they're stitched intact together. This isn't a dancing tutu. It's not you know, quite ready for the ballet. But for a Halloween costume, I thought I kind of captured the right look, and I, I'm really happy that it stood out in the manner that it did. And I'm just showing you here outside the, the glitter that I painted on, the different feathers that had some iridescence, and of course the rhinestone accents, and then the sheen of the panty. So that's the final look there. Um, for the bodice, I, I kind of went back and forth as far as what I wanted to do. I kind of wanted to capture the look of the original, but I didn't. I wanted to be a little more modest, obviously. I didn't want her to go um, strapless, and I also wanted her to have some comfort because this was this wasn't to perform, and this was simply to go trick or treating around the neighborhood, and so it didn't need to be screen accurate. So I scrapped that idea that I just showed you with the the faux nude bodice, and I ended up going with this. Um, black leotard there that I found at Goodwill and I decided to um, embellish it so I went in and I just kind of hand beaded it at, if you can see the different kinds of stones there and beads and the feather accents I actually used leftover beads from my Titanic costume that's what I'm showing you there I had a lot of those left over and then I um, just basically while I was watching TV at night tacked on different feathers different beads um, some iridescent tulle, and then I also painted the leotard. So again, it's not a boned corset top or basque like a typical ballet outfit, um, but for a four-year-old to go trick-or-treating in, it was a lot more comfortable for her to sit in the car seat and go around, um, especially in the hot Florida weather. So there's a lot of the stones sparkling out in the sun. Again, a lot of this was lost in the details of the picture, so I just wanted to show you how the top was embellished there. And you also saw that I had some wings that she wore, and those attached to um, the bat. I'm sorry, to the bodice. They were store-bought little wings that I just added a bit more glitter and bling to. And you see, they kind of bounce when she walks. So she had a lot of fun telling people that she was a swan. The tiara started out with a cheap, broken little craft tiara that I got for like 30 cents at a thrift store. It was already pretty broken, but I went in and broke it down some more. And I followed a technique that one of my friends did, but I've seen several other people do this technique. Basically what I did was I created a pattern about the size, and then you go in with hot glue and a plastic piece, and you just kind of drizzle it, you know, to 
to kind of simulate a melted look. I also did a, a comb accessory because I saw in a lot of the pictures she had a little comb in her bun. And this was a piece obviously you saw Lane helped me with. And we painted the melted glue or the drizzled glue with a black. And then I went back in with a metallic silver. And then I went back in with a sealer and some glitter and then I added in some rhinestones so that's the the look there and it really does look like the melted metal like the one in the movie does and so basically all that is is melted hot glue that is shaped and then glued onto a cheap plastic tiara and a little comb there so that's the final look there there's a the little comb and that's how they looked in her hair so those were pretty easy accessories obviously I didn't want her to go trick-or-treating around in her real ballet shoes and obviously she doesn't have point shoes because she's only four so I just embellished a pair of little black ballet flats with some glitter and little feather and rhinestone accents. They're not exactly screen accurate, but they were a lot of fun for a little girl to play dress up in, and they kind of completed the look for her. So that's what we did there with the shoes. So this is the completed look on a dress form. As you can see, the tutu standing out. Again, this is after she wore it for hours on Halloween, so it's a little wilty. It needs a little steaming to stand back up. But you can see the embellished details and then the wings. So I hope you enjoy the details. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. There you go. I know, I like that. <laughs> you look good. <laughs>